Hey Kaiju fans, it's Titan Alante, and today we're talking about the perfect life form, Destoroya. Destoroya is a Precambrian crustacean kaiju that debuted in 1995's Godzilla vs. Destoroya, the last entry in the Heisei Godzilla series. Standing 120 meters tall in his perfect form and weighing in at 80,000 metric tons, Destoroya is often considered one of Godzilla's most merciless, intelligent, and evil foes, along with the Showa King Ghidorah and Space Godzilla. Unlike monsters that kill or destroy unintentionally and act only out of instinct or while under mind control, Destoria seems fully aware of the death and destruction he causes, and takes pleasure in causing it. Destoria's strategies seem to revolve around causing as much pain to his opponents as possible, as his aggregate form is shown repeatedly stabbing Godzilla Jr. with his limbs and administering extremely painful doses of micro-oxygen directly into his chest. Destoria takes his name from the oxygen destroyer weapon that spawned him. A possible reason that the name Destroyer isn't commonly used for the monster in various markets is because the word itself cannot be trademarked by Toho. However, he is often referred to as Destroyer in dubbed versions of the film. That's the adult Destroyer! All Destoroya is Toho's official name for the character. Also, yeah, it's spelled like that. The monster has six distinct forms, which are denoted as Microform, Crawl Form, Juvenile Form, Aggregate Form, Flying Form, and Perfect Form. While Destoroya's forms vary drastically in overall appearance, they all have numerous common features. All of Destoroya's forms have bright red exoskeletons and numerous crest-like protrusions. The micro and crawl forms of Destoroya resemble the extinct trilobite and modern horseshoe crabs. After combining, the crawl forms of Destoroya become juvenile forms, six-legged creatures with long necks and extendable jaws. Aggregate forms appear to be much larger versions of the juvenile, but with two additional appendages arising from their backs. Destoroya's flying form has a set of four wings, a well-developed frill-like crest, and a single reptilian-esque jaw. Des can freely change form between aggregate and flying without having to divide or recombine. Destoroya's perfect form is the only form of Destoroya to be bipedal. His chest is dominated by a beige-colored floral pattern, and has numerous red and beige spines on his shoulders, knees, and neck. The monster's arms are tipped by three clawed hands, and his tail has a set of two scythe-like pincers on the end. Finally, he possesses two large bat-like wings on his back, with two smaller wings underneath them. When Dr. Zarazawa detonated the Oxygen Destroyer in Tokyo Bay to kill the first Godzilla in 1954, the resulting anaerobic conditions and exposure to the chemical weapon revived and mutated a colony of Precambrian crustaceans, which had thrived under these conditions. The creatures were trapped in the strata under the bay for 2.5 billion years, and after being revived, evolved abnormally over the course of 40 years, incorporating micro-oxygen into their biological processes. In 1996, the construction of the Tokyo Bay Aqua Line in the same spot where the oxygen destroyer was used drew the attention of the Precambrian crustaceans, who destroyed an elevator and then traveled to the surface. The creatures went to the Shinagawa Aquarium, where they used micro-oxygen to disintegrate and feed on the fish located there. Growing larger and stronger, the crustaceans began combining with each other, eventually evolving into larger, human-sized, juvenile forms. The creatures traveled further inland and it infested the Tokyo Telecom Center. A SWAT team was sent in to exterminate the beasts, but were brutally attacked by the monsters, which proved immune to conventional weaponry. The SWAT team eventually discovered that explosives and flamethrowers were effective against the creatures, and were able to kill several of them. One of the creatures escaped the building and tried to kill reporter Yukari Yamane, but she was saved by Kensako Izuin and a SWAT team, who incinerated the beast with flamethrowers. After further analyzing the creatures, Izuin determined that the extreme temperatures destroyed the micro-oxygen in their bodies, meaning they could theoretically be killed using the JSDF's arsenal of freezer weapons. A fleet of tanks and helicopters confronted the remaining creatures in the outskirts of Tokyo. The Mazer cannons opened fire on the creatures with their ultra-low temperature ULT, cryolasers, while the tanks bombarded them with cadmium shells. Several of the creatures were killed, but they then converged and merged together into a single aggregate form. The giant beast quickly turned the tables on the JSDF, eradicating their vehicles with a ray of concentrated micro-oxygen fired from its mouth. 
Dr. Adrian remarked that Microoxygen did not possess this kind of power, but the Oxygen Destroyer did, and proceeded to name the monster Destoroya. Destoroya changed into its flying form and flew into downtown Tokyo. Meanwhile, Godzilla was about to undergo a catastrophic nuclear meltdown that would destroy the world, leaving G-Force with one desperate option. Lure him to Tokyo so he would fight and hopefully be killed by Destoroya. G-Force's psychics, Miki Saigusa and Meru Ozawa, used their telepathy to bring Godzilla's adopted son, Godzilla Jr., to Tokyo, knowing Godzilla would follow. When Destoroya saw Jr., he immediately attacked the young monster, transforming into his aggregate form and pinning Jr. to the ground. Destoroya bit down into Jr.'s chest with a secondary jaw, injecting micro-oxygen directly into his bloodstream. Jr. managed to recover and fired his atomic breath twice, forcing Dez off of him and sending him flying into a nearby refinery, which exploded. His enemy seemingly defeated, Jr. reunited with his father outside of Haneda Airport. But Destoroya was not dead, and he used the DNA he had absorbed from Jr.'s blood to mutate further. Another explosion rocked the refinery, and from it emerged Destoroya in his perfect form, who proceeded to fly to Haneda Airport, knocking Godzilla to the ground and grabbing Junior in his clutches. Destoroya flew high into the sky and dropped Junior onto Ariake Coliseum from hundreds of meters in the air. Destoroya then blasted the young monster with his micro-oxygen ray. The creature immediately attacked Godzilla, dragging him by the neck down the runway before throwing him into Tokyo Bay with his tail pincer. Godzilla walked back onto land and engaged Destoroya in combat near the airport, where he managed to nearly fatally damage his son's killer. However, Destoroya split apart into several aggregate forms and stormed the King of the Monsters, breathing micro-oxygen into his face and dragging him to the ground. Godzilla obliterated the creatures with his nuclear pulse, got back on his feet and walked to his fallen son, attempting to revive him. As Godzilla tried and failed to breathe life back into Junior, a healed Destoroya returned in his perfect form to attack the King of the Monsters, and the two monsters engaged in combat once again, as Godzilla's temperature climbed to critical levels. Godzilla weakened Destoroya with his infinite heat ray, then began emitting powerful nuclear pulses which set the surrounding area ablaze. Destoroya tried to escape. The JSDF fired their cryolasers at Destoroya's wings, shredding and freezing them solid, and sending the monster plummeting to the superheated ground below where he exploded and died for good. Division and Recombination Destoroya's numerous forms all have the ability to combine with one another to create progressively larger forms, reducing in number but increasing in size until eventually becoming one perfect form. If badly injured, Destoroya's perfect form can split apart into numerous smaller aggregate forms, then recombine to recover and regenerate from injuries sustained. While split apart, Destoroya is extremely vulnerable, and to defend himself while divided, the aggregates must swarm larger opponents and attempt to suffocate them by exhaling large quantities of micro-oxygen to stand a chance of survival. Micro-Oxygen Beam Destoroya's juvenile, aggregate, flying, and perfect forms can all fire a concentrated blast of micro-oxygen from their mouths. The juvenile's beam was white in color, while the larger forms version of the attack took the form of a purple helix. This ray's power gradually increases with each new form, with Perfect Form Destoroya being able to kill a critically wounded Godzilla Jr. with just one shot. Alongside his micro-oxygen ray, the Laser Horn is one of Destoroya's signature attacks and is used exclusively in his Perfect Form. Destoroya's horn can temporarily enter an energetic state where it becomes incredibly sharp, being able to cleave straight through objects and other monsters. While Godzilla's regeneration helped him survive, Destoroya's laser horn was strong enough to slice straight through his body multiple times. Strength and Durability Destoroya battled Godzilla at the peak of his power, and could survive multiple hits from his red spiral atomic ray, although he was shown vomiting large amounts of blood and losing part of his head crest to the ray. An attack which either instantly killed or crippled most enemies in one shot. As for physical attacks, Destoroya's forms have spikes, sharp teeth and bones, pincers and claws, and a tail with pincers. The aggregate form is equipped with spiked claws, like a praying mantis, while the perfect form was shown easily carrying Godzilla into the air using only the pincers on his tail. While Destoroya himself was shown to be vulnerable to extreme temperatures, the fact that Destoroya was able to fight the overheating Godzilla many times is a testament to his durability. Energy Draining Destoroya's aggregate form can inject micro-oxygen directly into his opponent's wounds through his jaws. This technique drains the victim's energy and is incredibly painful to experience. Destoroya's perfect form can drain energy through his tail, an ability he used against Godzilla. According to the book Godzilla vs. Destoroya Super Complete Works and the video game Godzilla Movie Studio Tour, 
Historia can absorb the DNA of his opponents by dissolving their cells with micro-oxygen and obtaining the DNA from them. Destoria was able to create his perfect form after obtaining DNA from Godzilla Jr.'s body during their battle in Tokyo, generating an endoskeleton that allowed him to stand upright. Weaknesses Destoroya's main weakness is his inability to handle extreme temperatures. His juvenile forms, while near impervious to most of the firearms used by the SWAT team, were easily killed by flamethrowers and AH-64 Apache helicopters. The JSDF's Mazer tanks were very effective at eradicating juvenile forms as well. Also, Destoroya was nearly killed by Birding Godzilla following Junior's death and only managed to escape obliteration by splitting into aggregate forms and taking time to regenerate. Once Godzilla's internal temperatures reached critical levels and he began using his infinite heat ray, Destoria's armored exoskeleton quickly became useless against the beam's constantly increasing power, and Destoria lost a substantial portion of his head crest and shoulder to a single shot. In addition, the flaps of skin on Destoria's wings can be damaged by concentrated fire from the freezer units, making him unable to fly. Not able to cope with the sheer contrast between the shots from the freezer tanks and the heat being given off by Godzilla's body, Destoria exploded upon hitting the ground. Destoroya is easily the oldest monster in the entire Godzilla franchise, its originating Precambrian crustacean colony being 2.5 billion years old, or around the same time that multicellular life arose during the Proterozoic Eon. Of course, in real life, crustaceans only first originated starting 511 million years ago, well into the Cambrian period. While the perfect form of Destoroya is regarded as his final form, the Godzilla vs. Destoroya theater program apparently states that there is no guarantee that Destoroya's evolution ended with that form. Now, this doesn't mean that a sequel to the movie was planned or anything, but it's still an interesting bit nonetheless. When Toho was planning the final film of the Heisei series, it initially considered having Godzilla's final enemy be the restless spirit of the original 1954 Godzilla, under the name Ghost Godzilla. According to Takao Okawara, this idea was discarded because Godzilla's last two enemies, Mechagodzilla and Space Godzilla, were also doppelgangers of him. The next enemy considered was Baruberoi, a name that applied to both a continuously evolving creature that would have defeated an Anguirus Hound and taken on its form, and almost final destroyer concepts that incorporated the Oxygen Destroyer. However, Toho worried that the name Barubaroi sounded too similar to Berber, a term used to describe an ethnic group from North Africa with apparently derogatory origins, and that it could be considered insensitive. So the name was changed to Destroya. Destroya was originally planned to have another attack, a beam fired from the floral pattern on his chest, simply called the Stomach Beam. While a lot of concept art exists for this attack, it was cut from the final film. Deleted scenes from the film show Destoroya opening his floor pattern and using the beam, which was not yet edited into the scene, instead being shown only by flashes of light and pyrotechnics used on set, which easily knocks Godzilla off his feet. The manga actually shows Destoroya using the stomach beam, where it breaks off one of burning Godzilla's dorsal plates and also severs the tip of his tail. In addition to this, there is also an alternate ending to Godzilla vs. Destoroya. A deleted scene at the end of the film shows that after Destoroya is brought to the ground when trying to escape from Godzilla's meltdown, he rises again as opposed to dissolving. With his wings torn up from the ULT lasers, he can no longer escape Godzilla's fury. Godzilla quickly overpowers Destoroya, grabbing him by his horn and pummeling him repeatedly. As Godzilla melts down, the JSDF rain their ULT weapons upon him, as well as Destoroya. Unable to stand against the immense heat of Godzilla's meltdown and the freezing cold of the ULT lasers, Destoroya falls and evaporates. However, it was thought that having Godzilla fight Destroya while he went through a meltdown took away the focus from Godzilla's death, which was to be the main point of the movie. So the scene was re-edited to have Destroya die after the JSDF shoots him down, and allow Godzilla to have center stage as he finally dies. The manga kept the original ending though. That's all we have for Destroya. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.